Well, I got my brake cylinder honed today. Um, you're probably wondering why I have a lapping setup. That is because when I went over to pick up the brakes or the cylinder hone for the engine, they gave me a brake cylinder hone, which only goes up to two and a half inches. This is a three inch bore cylinder. Big problem there. So, and I'm not everywhere else that I looked, I wanted about 50 bucks for a new, for a engine cylinder hone. So, I am saying screw it and I'm going to, sorry, here we are. I'll just lap the stupid thing in. just a lot of that. You gotta wait for it to cool back down. It's getting hot. All the pressures and stuff. The lapping compound is actually just um, some it's a mixture between bonamy and mineral oil or baby oil. The feldspar in this stuff is a really good abrasive but not very aggressive but good enough for honing stuff I the um, baby oil is a really good lubricant for this stuff and it just yeah it just glides on it so it cuts and it glides at the same time and you just every f few minutes you take it off and clean it off and put more on because it actually breaks down and gets finer and finer grit it does not stay large grit you want a mandrel that's actually softer than the material you're trying to hone so, so that it, the grit sticks in it rather than the bore which I'm using a piece of two 2x4's two I found just on the junk pile and grabbed them, cut them screwed them together at this end with three screws and turned it down the lathe to just right under the size of the bore just a few thousandths so it was actually just barely wanting to go on and then I put uh, grooves probably about every inch and a quarter all the way down to hold the uh, compound. Yeah, this stuff works great. It, I've been at it for uh, about a half hour having to stop every few minutes because it gets so hot. But I have a lot of pressure and tension on this thing. So, there are a lot of pressure pushing out to do this. The nice thing about these types of laps, any bell mouth and stuff in it, it'll actually take the bell mouth out. Same with out of round. It'll lap the thing into round. But yeah, you just take every few minutes, or every 10-15 minutes just take and wipe the whole thing down, add more, go back at it again. That thing's still really hot. I'll, cool, I'll wait till it cool down. Okay really reapply it good
that thing gets very very hot very fast but let it cool back down wipe it all down and see how the progress is going Yeah, I have this on here so that the compound doesn't do anything. Let's see if I can see that. Yeah, it's coming out almost glass smooth right now. Move you back a little bit. Yeah, it's actually had some pretty deep machining marks in it. It's actually just taking them right out. Just baby butt smooth. There's a few in there but I think once it's, I'm done with it I've been at this about a half hour so once this thing's done I'll be set. The thing about this setup if you have an out around cylinder hole it will actually lap it into roundness again so yeah, and also if it has any bow mouth to it, it'll lap the bow mouth out too, so it'll be perfectly straight. It does not take very much off at once, so it's a very slow process, but it does work very well. I'm just going to clean this off here. Replace it. It's just a piece of two by four with let me turn it upside down here. It was just one screw here, two there to hold it together, and then this end here expands outwards due to the bolt. And I'll put some more lapping compound on and we'll be good to go. And yes, it does run a little bit off center when I was trying to cut the grooves in it, I didn't have it supported and it this one out here it just pop and I couldn't get it centered back up. I didn't feel like getting the indicator out just to indicate it back in. I just got it close enough. So this actually works as good as normal lapping compound. There's quite a bit of larger grit in it too. It's kind of like a mixture between maybe 320 up to 1000 grit all in one. And as you use it, it breaks down and becomes more and more fine. So it'll actually keep getting more and more fine as you use it, but it'll just keep doing it until it's perfectly smooth. Which is very cool. It's kind of more of like the professional lapping stuff. But yeah, it's just standard bonami and baby oil or mineral oil. Okay, I'm done. For the last part, I just kept adding the mineral oil to it, baby oil, because as it was breaking down, it was just getting finer and finer grit. Um, still got some scratches and stuff in it, but you can see how polished the bore is now. The thing worked perfect. I put some oil on there, so it'll. I could just put the piston rings right in. I was going to go with the cast iron ones, but I think I'm going to go with the Teflon. I got some Teflon tubing that I could use for piston rings, it'll act kind of like an o-ring but have the split in it and it will compress down 
into the groove. It'll be much less friction, much less wear on this. So this thing will last pretty much forever and it, it should get a lot higher compression too. But yeah, as smooth as could be. There was a few little machining marks in it that I couldn't get out because they were so deep. But I don't know if you can see them in the very back. But other than that, there's nothing there. You can't even feel them. So, yeah, like, the thing's pretty much perfect now. So, time to put make the piston and start putting things together. I got to cast the body sometime soon, so... I'm going to cut down the bottom of that mega crucible and size it down for 6 inch crucible so that it'll fit my furnace so I can just cast it. By my calculations it'll be about 3.5 quarts of metal or about a little over 3 quarters of a gallon. Right now I can do 2 quarts and that's just a hair under what I need for the body. So with the bigger one, I can get it. Thanks for watching.